Here we are. Before you come up to the camera and have your passport in hand. We got a whole shuttle to ourselves. Thank you. Okay, cute bathroom vibes. All right. Sweaty me looking blurry. Cute little mm. tub. And there's a jacuzzi. Wow. Oh, we're, this is the ocean view, babe. It is, that's the ocean right there. Oh. Okay, a little OOTD for the first night. Let's get it up That's close good. on you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So today I'm wearing uh, Macy's fall collection, okay? Fall or spring? It's, uh, it was on sale. <laughs> but what are you wearing? Okay, I see you, girl. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we are eating at a buffet because we got here so late and all the restaurants close at around 9 30, so we are eating at a buffet. So we went, we had dinner, and then we decided to come walk on the beach and just kind of enjoy the weather. The weather's perfect. It's warm and humid, but there's an amazing breeze going on. Hello. Welcome back to Tyler Made. Yes, we are in Cancun, Mexico. We decided to come here because we honestly needed a vacation. Um, I have spring break this time of year, and then Jose also took those two weeks off with me to hang out with me. So we're like, heck yeah, we need to go somewhere. And because of COVID, I, we honestly felt like Mexico was the easiest place to come to. You don't have to take a test to get here. However, you do have to take a test to get back in the US. So what Jose and I did was maybe about five days or so before we left to Cancun, we took a test just to make sure that we were negative and of course we were and then we arranged with the hotel to be tested later this week before we go back home it's honestly like pretty empty usually when jose and i come to resorts it's a competition to get day beds out here like you gotta wake up at like seven in the morning go put your stuff down there and reserve the the chair um but for some reason well not for some reason obvious reasons um it's it's pretty empty and this hotel is pretty big it's one of the re biggest resorts we've ever stayed at we're staying at the Ryu Palace Peninsula we actually staying in this little like I feel like it's a penthouse and it has its own like personal pool so as you can see no one is in there and it has a little hot tub huge terrace it's around nine o'clock right now we're probably just gonna go out and lay out for a little bit then maybe grab some breakfast after and yes come along on our journey <laughs> Look how blue the water is. We found our little home for the day. And we got a nice spot that's slightly shaded. And so it's awesome because our hotel literally is beachfront. So that's like, that's our hotel back there. And it's literally steps from the beach. Also, did I mention that we are staying at an all-inclusive resort? 
I'm obsessed with staying at all-inclusive resorts because literally everything's included. All your alcohol, all your food, all your snacks, all your desserts, all your room service, all your, any and everything is already included. So it's not like you come to on vacation and have to spend a whole bunch of money when you get there. No, you pay for everything in advance. So it's awesome. So we have migrated from the beach to the pool. Ladies, get you a man who brings you not only one, but two champagnes. We're doing a TikTok. Right, you, <laughs> you gotta record this, really? All right. Well. Oh. <laughs> 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 This is like a place that's open 24 hours. We got hungry after the little show we watched. So we came here. This is our second night coming here. It's the only place that's open late at night. So it's like pretty much bar food. Nachos, Jose's getting burgers. He made me come to the gym on vacation good morning it is day three and i never thought i'd be one of those people who go to the gym on vacation next level stuff baby this is dedication right here real dedication <laughs> so we just worked out it's like what time is it seven it's eight eight o'clock we worked out for probably 30 minutes and now we're gonna go and ready to go to the pool so when we usually come to mexico we usually go to like some type of day trip whether it's excaret which is like a, um, a water park or shelha or um, isla mujeres or a boat trip somewhere but because of you know the pandemic we decided to be safe and just stay at our resort and um, our resort's actually really good about making sure that everyone has on their mask of course when you like go to where you're going to be seated you can take it off um, but so yeah we're actually gonna end up just staying here at the resort but since we're gonna be here the whole time we're like you know why not like rent something why not do some type of water sport so that's what we're gonna be doing today we also have our covid test today um in order to get back into the u.s we must take a test and it has to be at least three days before you leave and so since we leave friday and today's wednesday we're taking it today are you ready <laughs> wow i'm loving the pink a little ootd moment It's been pretty awesome. I don't know if you're like us, we honestly just like to relax. We can literally sit and lay by the pool for hours and be completely satisfied, right? Mm -hmm. I agree. It's relatively empty. Um, there are people here, don't get me wrong, but it's not like packed, which is honestly really nice, yeah. right? That's kind of what our goal was. Our goal was to come here and just stay away from people. Um, and uh, I think for the most part, we've pretty much been able to stay 20, 30 feet away from anyone at any given time. Oh, and if you want some cocoa, I want this cocoa. is the place to be, bro. Locals walk around obviously selling things like bags, sunglasses, or awe de coco. It's actually in the first floor of the hotel that we're already in, so we don't have to go anywhere else. <laughs> you hit it in. <laughs> I don't like it. Woo! 
a negative for test results. Okay, it is later in the day. We finished up our fun pool day, and now we're gonna go grab some food. As you can tell, I'm super sunburned. I don't know if you can tell, but my nose and my forehead, especially my hairline right here, it's freaking hurting bad. So now we're gonna go have some din din at this place called Kabuki. Oh, nice. Muchas gracias. Oh, no. Yes, gracias. No. Abo. Today is our last full day in Mexico. Today we're actually gonna go get breakfast, which I requested because lately we've just been going straight to the pool and then maybe getting a snack later. But they do have one place that's open. It's like a buffet. So I wanna go get breakfast. Like I wanna have a brunch. I wanna go, go to this restaurant, have some mimosas, eat the breakfast, and then I think we're gonna go out to the beach today. And again, of course, it's a beautiful freaking day. There's people already swimming in our little private pool. We did end up renting the jet skis yesterday, so we're probably gonna do that today. So let's see how today goes. Baby, look. An entire freaking avocado, bro. Yum. All right, we're about to go on the jet skis. Gracias. Safety first. <laughs> he said we can't go past uh, where that boat is. <laughs> dinner before we leave and we came to this place called tamales and <laughs> they don't have tamales on the menu <laughs> but so far everything is so delicious check out our plates shrimp and fish tacos yum what'd you get pulpo octopus Tres leches. And just like that, our vacay is over. I think we're leaving on a great day though because it's like hella windy right now. So almost like perfect timing. It's like six in the morning right now. They recommended that we leave at six and our flight leaves at nine. So we out of here. So we officially made it to Cancun Airport. We did have to show proof of our negative COVID test results, which was very easy. We got a printout when we got our test. Um, so we just showed the, the test and that was it. We did have to get here much earlier than usual because there was a long line because usually you can get your boarding pass on your phone or whatever, but here you can't get your boarding pass until you provide your negative COVID test results. So that's what we did. Um, very easy process. I'm glad we ended up leaving our hotel earlier. Vacation is officially coming to an end, sadly. But you know, the party don't stop. The party don't stop. <laughs> Tyler made. Chichisa? 